Is the church really preparing our youth with the skills and knowledge to be able to stand firm on God's Word and be able to defend their faith? Well, I want to welcome you to Creation Training Radio and TV. I'm your host, Mike Riddle, the founder and president of Creation Training Initiative. And today, we're going to answer that very important question. And our topic today is preparing the next generation for the battle. Well, America today is in a battle. It's not a battle being fought with guns and bombs. It is a battle for the very heart and soul of this nation. It is a battle being fought with ideology. It is a battle of worldviews. And this battle is being fought on four fronts by four very powerful movements that want control of our youth. Let's take a look at these four powerful movements. And our first one is called modernism. That is the ideology that science alone has all the answers. And the foundational principle for this ideology is something called materialism. That is the idea that all that exists is mass and energy. There is no God and no supernatural forces. Now, championing this movement is what we call evolutionism. The idea that, again, there is no creator God. All that exists is mass and energy, and everything can be explained through scientific discoveries. That is movement number one, trying to take control of our children. Movement number two is called postmodernism. Since we have seen that science has not been able to answer all our questions and solve all our problems, because we still have wars and we still have many diseases. So as an outgrowth of modernism came this whole movement called postmodernism, which includes things like the New Age movement and the emergent church. They have gained great ground in America today. This ideology is also based on something called moral relativism. There are no absolutes. What's true for you may not be true for someone else. All gods are the same. Our third major movement is what is called the gay rights movement, which is a direct attack on the principle and precept of biblical marriage, one man and one woman. As well, it's also an attack on the family structure. It is also characterized by complete intolerance of anybody who goes against their ideas. The sad problem here is many churches are reluctant or they're ill-equipped to train their people on the problem of homosexuality. And finally, the last movement is called apostasy in the church. The attack by many Christian theologians on biblical doctrine. Leading this movement is something called theistic evolution. The idea that God used evolution and he used billions of years for his creation process. Even recently, we have seen movements, parts of this movement called the seeker-friendly church and the emergent church, which are watering down our doctrines in the church, promoting another gospel, a gospel that promotes or offers cheap grace. These are the four major movements that are attacking the church today. And the problem here is many Christians are putting their hope in the next generation. Well, that's not necessarily a problem, but our next generation is not our first hope. See, our first hope as Christians should always be Jesus Christ. Secondly, our hope, folks, should be in that this generation, my generation, will have the courage and knowledge to train this next generation to stand firm on God's word and be able to defend their faith. That is where our secondary hope is. Will my generation stand up and do the job they're supposed to be doing, and that is train the next generation? Well, Creation Training Initiative, or CTI, was organized to fight this battle. Why? Well, folks, because over 70% of our Christian youth today are leaving the church. Over 70% are leaving the church. Why is that happening? Because they no longer have confidence in God's Word. They don't see the Bible as having answers. So they're turning somewhere else for the answers because they're not getting them in many churches and they're not getting them in many of our Christian universities. So they're leaving the church. Folks, this has got to stop. We have to stop the 70% attrition rate. We need to start training our Christian youth. We need to make sure our Christian youth will be able to live in a country 
called America that has the same freedoms we have enjoyed over our lifetime. Do you want your children and your grandchildren to enjoy the freedoms we have enjoyed? If you think our freedom as individuals and a nation is important, freedom such as the freedom to home educate our children, the freedom to promote biblical marriage, one man and one woman, the freedom to tell others about Jesus Christ, especially for our soldiers in the military, the freedom to preserve the sanctity of human life, the freedom to teach that God is indeed the creator of all things. If you think those freedoms are important, I'm here to tell you, you can make a difference. See, CTI, Creation Training Initiative, is not here to build a big organization. We are here to replicate ourselves. Around the world and all over America, we're here to replicate ourselves. See, our mission at CTI is to train up others with the skills and knowledge to be able to teach this next generation. The skills and knowledge to be able to teach biblical creation, biblical apologetics, so they in turn can train this next generation to stand firm on God's Word and be able to defend their faith. This is called biblical discipleship. We want to train others and send them out, just as it says in 2 Timothy 2.2. And the things you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. What Paul is telling us here, Paul is talking to Timothy, he's saying this, Timothy, now that I have trained you, you go out and do what I did for you. You train others how to speak and teach about God's Word. That is exactly what we're trying to do at CTI. Will you stand up and take a stand for these freedoms? The freedom for marriage between one man and one woman. The freedom to tell others about God as the creator of all things. You see, we lack those training grounds today. We really don't have training grounds. You see, if an organization does not train its troops, if an organization doesn't even know they're in a battle, they are doomed to lose. We need to equip this next generation. That's why we have Creation Training Initiative. Why? Because our universities today, our Christian universities, are more focused on academia rather than preparing this next generation for the battle. They're not training the next generation of pastors. They're not training the next generation of youth leaders or teachers how to teach biblical creation or apologetic. Therefore, we lack a training ground. Today, a very small percentage of our Christian schools, Christian high schools, have teachers that can teach biblical apologetics. And that is because they're not being trained in our Christian universities. Very, very few of our youth leaders today even know what biblical apologetics is or even have a stance on biblical creation. So the question is, who's going to train our next generation? If somebody doesn't do it, folks, we will continue to lose over 70% of our Christian youth. This is not how you win battles. This is how you lose. Abraham Lincoln is credited with making this statement. The philosophy of the classroom in one generation will be the philosophy in government in the next. In other words, whoever owns the education system will own the next generation. And I'm here to tell you right now, folks, Christianity does not own this next generation. We are outnumbered, we are surrounded, and we are outfinanced. But don't think of this as doom and gloom. This is a great opportunity God has given us, and this is why we have CTI here today and other organizations such as Answers in Genesis, the Institute for Creation Research, and Creation Ministries International, so that we can begin to train up this next generation. We're going to fill in the gap where our universities have let us down and many of our churches have let us down. We need a vision. We need a unifying vision. And our vision at Creation Training Initiative is something called ACE. We are building an army of Christian educators, ACE, where we want every Christian high school in this country to have a teacher that can teach biblical creation and apologetics. We want churches all over America 
that have a youth leader that can teach biblical creation and apologetics. We want to train them up with the skills and knowledge to go out and train this next generation. And we want colleges to start training teachers, pastors, and youth leaders on this same subject. And I want to give you some good news now, some very good news. We have, now have, one Christian university in this country, and I believe it is the only Christian university in this country, that will begin teaching a fully accredited course called Creation Apologetics. I have been put in charge of writing and helping teach this course. Where is this Christian university? It is called Arizona Christian University, located in Phoenix, Arizona. This school is now in a position of leadership where they will begin doing the training so this next generation can stand firm and defend their faith. This will be a three credit semester, three semester credit hour on how to defend your faith, all on biblical creation and apologetics. We want other universities to step up so that we can stop this 70% attrition rate. Now, how are we going to do this? The CTI strategy is to combat these four major movements. The movement of modernism, which is the outgrowth called evolutionism. Postmodernism, which is Eastern mysticism, New Age. Gay rights, which goes against the very precept of biblical marriage and the whole foundation of family in the Bible. And then we need to stop this apostasy in the church and stand firm on biblical doctrine. And we're going to do that by building an army of Christian educators called ACE. And to do this, we have a three-part strategy. Our first strategy is to create and teach short, what we mean by short is one-day courses on biblical creation and apologetics. Each of these courses will be priced so that anybody can attend. We already have this in place. First day strategy is already in place. We already have three courses. We have our basic creation training class, a one-day course going 8.30 to 5.30. And this course is open to teens and above. We want to get your teens in there so when they go to high school and they go to college, they're already prepared with answers in how to defend their faith. We have a second course, a one-day course called Creation teacher training. This course is for Sunday school teachers and Christian school teachers, even parents and homeschool parents. And what we do in this course is we show you what the Bible has to say about teaching. Now you're going to find that what we do in this course are things that you will not learn in teacher colleges. I've been to the teacher colleges, and we learn how to teach. Even in Christian universities, we learn how to teach. But we learn the same methods they're learning in the secular universities. This course will train you how to teach for success. It will train you that Christian education should be life-changing, not just passing a test. We'll give you techniques for helping our students retain their information so they will know the information when they get done and be able to be better evangelists for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ rather than just passing a test. And then our third course called Advanced Creation Apologetics. This is what we call the next step in evangelism. How to get into a discussion with any scientist and not have to know the science in order to engage them in the conversation. Last year, we taught 24 courses in over 15 states. That's our first stage strategy. Now let's go to our second stage strategy. And this is to create a five-day course. And we call this Creation Apologetics Teachers College. We have already started on this. Our first offering is June of this year, 2014. And this course has already been so popular. We're, we're already three months away from this course. And it's already full. We are already taking people on our wait list. People want to get into this course. They want to be able to help, but they're not going to get that information from many of our universities or our churches. And CTI, to make sure this is affordable, 
we are underwriting much of the cost of this course. So we need additional funding to help us with this. Also part of our second state strategy, strategy is to produce, just like we're doing here, 30-minute web-based videos on creation and biblical apologetics. And these are all free for anybody who wants to view them. They are on our website called creationtraining.org. We already have many, many 30-minute videos out there for your viewing. Some where we have interviews with scientists, astronomers, cell biologists, dinosaur experts, even geologists. We have these videos there already to help train you. These are, our, are started and ongoing. Then, also part of our second stage strategy, will be create a Sunday school video-based training course with a very detailed instructor guide. So that instructor, whoever teaches this course, will be equipped with what questions might come up and how to answer those questions. This is currently in progress as part of our second stage strategy. Also part of our second stage strategy is to create many online training programs. We need funding to get this one started. Now let's go to our third stage strategy. This is where we're going to start producing what we call equipping courses. These courses are designed for Christian students attending public schools. Incidentally, that's about 90% of our Christian students in this country that are attending public schools. No one out there seems to be helping them. That's 90% of our Christian students going to public schools where they're being inundated with evolutionism, which teaches there is no creator God, therefore there is no Jesus Christ. That's what they're being taught over and over again. They're being taught gay rights. They're direct attack on biblical marriage. They're being taught the sanctity of human life should not be taught at all at home. They're being taught abortion should be allowed on demand. That's what CTI is trying to combat. We did one of these courses. We invented one of these courses a little over a dozen years ago. We brought in these Christian students. We brought our, their parents in too to sit in on the course. And what we do in that course is we train those students how to ask good science questions in that classroom. And what we found out was these students were so well trained with the information we gave them, that they were able to go back to these schools and change teachers' lives. They were able to hold a conversation with their peers and break down any strongholds. And we found out they were able to write reports on evolution and defeat evolution and still get a very good grade. You see, this can be done if we decide as Christians we want to do this. Then also, what we're going to need to help us on that. We're going to need a lot of financing, and we're going to need to hire developers. This doesn't come free. This comes as a cost. And then we want to host that five-day training course, which we're doing in June this year in 2014. We're only doing one this year. We would like to do two of those next year for 2015. And I mentioned that we are subsidizing this from CTI to make the cost very favorable for people. We will need $25,000 a course. If we want to do these courses, we need the funding. If you want to get people trained in your church and in your Christian school to be able to do this, then it's going to be a cost. We need your help for this. And then finally, for stage three strategy, we're going to create a 40-hour over nine days, a 40-hour course over nine days to specifically train Christian school teachers and youth pastors how to teach biblical creation and apologetics. This will be partially funded by CTI, so there'll be a minimum impact on the school, the teacher, and the church. This is needed again, because our Christian universities are not doing their job. They're being very academic, which is a very good thing. And they do have courses on apologetics, some of them. But their apologetics courses are so full of philosophy 
They never seem to get down to the practical apologetics where the battle is raging right now. We need to make sure our students have confidence in the Bible. They can answer questions like, how do you fit dinosaurs into the Bible? What about carbon-14? Does that really not prove the age of fossils are very old? How could Noah fit all the animals on the ark? Who did Cain marry? How could Adam name all the animals one day? How could the first three days of creation be real days that the sun was not there until day four? That's what we call practical apologetics. We need to start there. Then we need to train them on the critical thinking skills, how to ask the right questions, to turn the whole situation around to where they're on the offense and the evolutionists, the non-believers on the defense, to see if they really have answers for the hope that they have. That's what we need to be doing. Then we get to the third part called presuppositional apologetics. In order to do this, we need funding. We need the financing to help us do this. Now, if you want to be part of this initiative, you want to help others to help train the next generation, to protect our freedoms in this country. Again, freedom to teach that God is the creator of all things. Freedom to teach that marriage is between one man and woman. Freedom to teach in our military the name of Jesus Christ. And if you want to help, we urge you to consider the following. First, folks, this country's in grave trouble right now. Many of our freedoms are being taken away little by little. So we need to pray for America. We need to pray for our leaders. We need to pray for other ministries that are out there fighting the good fight. We need to pray for God's mercy on this country. We need to pray that we at CTI will get the finances to complete our mission so that this next generation can stand firm on the Word of God and believe it. So that we can build this army of Christian educators. We urge you to give generously to support our ministry. Your donation of $25, $100, or $500 or more will make a great difference. As one of our goals, we are seeking to get a modest amount, just 500 people across this entire country, just 500 people in this entire country, if they would just donate $20 a month, we could make a major impact on this next generation. That's what we're looking for. See, our youth are leaving the church in record numbers. The solution is not more entertainment and watered-down sermons. The solution is real training and biblical discipleship. Now at CTI, we offer you four ways how you can help us, how you can support CTI. You can do a monthly donation by check. That makes it very simple. You can do a one-time gift, and you can do this online, or you can just mail it in. We also offer you automatic recurring donations via credit card. And a fourth way is free bill pay. Now, to find out how to do this, go to our website. And here is our website on the screen, creationtraining.org. We need to get in the battle, not shy away from it. Yes, we're surrounded, we're outnumbered, we're outfinanced. But that's an opportunity. What that means, ladies and gentlemen, is we can charge in any direction now and engage a world that does not believe in Jesus Christ. We need to get in the battle for our freedoms because they're gradually being taken away from us. Let's make sure our children and our grandchildren have a place they can live in where they can freely express the name of Jesus Christ and talk about our creator God. But as it says in God's word in 2 Timothy 4, 3 through 5, there is a great battle raging today and we see this in 2 Timothy 4, Chapter 4, verses 3 through 5, as it states this, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn, away, turn their ears away from the truth and be turned aside to fables. But you be watchful in all things, endure inflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. I have a question here. 
Will you, will your children, will your grandchildren someday be able to make this statement that we find again in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Let us build this army of Christian educators together. Together we can build this foundation for the next generation. A solid rock foundation which has already been supplied by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you and God bless every one of you. If these lessons had been a blessing to you, you might consider financially supporting the Ministry of Creation Training Initiative. You can do this by going to our website, creationtraining.org. Again, that's creationtraining.org. Your tax-deductible donation of just $20, $50 or more a month, or a one-time gift of any amount will make you an education partner in building an army of Christian educators who can teach the biblical account of creation and train others to be able to defend their faith and be biblically faithful to God's Word as it states in 1 Peter 3.15. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear.